Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually uh, protect your Cisco devices from SSH brute force attack. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know there are different ways to access your Cisco routers and one of the famous are actually SSH access okay so here as you can see I'm using secure CRT in order to log on to my uh, Cisco router but you can use whatever client you want so for example I can use PuTTY here as you can see so if I'm gonna connect to my Cisco router I enter the IP address of my router here and I will hit open okay so by default it prompts me for a login so I will do it it's admin and password it's my secret password so as you can see now I have access to my router so if I do show version I can get access I can even go to the global config mode if I know the password okay so here it's actually the same as SSH so now you can see that I have access in the global config mode but as you may guess there are different tools that actually allows us to brute force SSH password actually or to use dictionaries in order to get this password okay so let me show you how we can perform that so there are different ways as I told you but the famous one exists in the distribution called Kali Linux but here disclaimer do not use these tools in the production environment or for materials that you don't have written actually authorization okay so here I'm using it against my own Cisco router okay so the first thing to get is actually what we call a dictionary text file so for example here I have a file called dict.txt that contains as you can see here a lot of passwords potential password okay so I'm gonna use the dic dictionary text file in order to brute force attack my Cisco router okay so in order to show you that, that live I will actually insert the password for my Cisco router here here we go so for example here the password for my Cisco router is this it's actually password with some changes as you can see here so I'm gonna save that file and I'm gonna use actually Hydra so I'm going here to Linux I type Hydra so it's a famous tool so you can use it in the command line or using the graphical interface so let's choose the graphical because it's uh, more convenient okay so our target is we have single Cisco router so I will enter here the IP address of my Cisco router here we go so let me show attempts here for the output options okay so for the password I will use actually username is admin by default for my Cisco router okay and for the password I will use here a password list which is this file that you can see here on my desktop so I will click here and I will choose it here we go I will open it so I guess that all we need so it's pretty simple pretty easy and here as you can see at the bottom you can see actually the command line that you can use directly in the terminal of Linux okay so you go here to the final tab and there is start button here so now let's SSH brute force attack my Cisco router and see if it can get the password that they have entered here so I will do here start so here you can see it's using a telnet so let me stop that I guess we forget 
to mention what kind of protocol we are using here so we'll be using actually SSH so let me choose SSH from the list here we go now we are ready to start again our attack so let me clear the output here we go and let's start the attack so now I guess it's okay let me maximize this window to see what we get so now this uh, tool Hydra are attempting to use the different passwords that this file on my desktop contains okay and eventually it will find the password that they have entered so here you can see the passwords and here we go you can see that this tool have actually found a valid password found so with this password we can actually now enter our Cisco router using SSH session so how can we prevent that kind of brute force attack okay so let me stop that clear the output so in order to stop this kind of attacks all we have to do actually is to enable a function in Cisco called block4 okay so we'll, we are actually blocking the attempts if there are many such attempts okay so let me switch to my Cisco router and show you how can we perform that here we go so now I'm on my Cisco router here so I will go actually to the global config mode here we go and I have first of all to monitor the login attempts okay so in order to do that we enter the command login on failure log in order to log all failure attempts and we'll do the same for the success also so in order to see the successful and failure login okay and of course as we are monitoring actually SSH session let's also log SSH events so I will that I will do that using the command IP SSH login events okay here we go so those are the commands that we'll be using okay so now let's see that the show login command so here you can see that we have some uh, options that has been performed so you can see this log login enabled so it means that we can actually view the login attempts okay so let me clear that and now let's use the function the famous function or command that will actually allows us to block this attempts so simply in the global config mode we enter the command login block for so we'll block for example 200 seconds if there are attempts if there are for example three attempts within within three seconds okay so this is the meaning of this command this command means to block actually the SSH access for 200 seconds if there are three attempts within three seconds okay let's activate that here we go so now this block for command has been activated this mod that we call quiet mode which will actually last 200 seconds okay so we're gonna test that mm -hmm. so now let's go back actually to the Kali Linux and try to execute once again this command okay or actually the attack so we'll go once again to Hydra we'll use the graphical user interface and we'll enter the IP address of our Cisco router 
and make sure to choose the protocol which is in this case SSH here we go where it is here it is okay so let's show the attempt so we can see what's going on and for the username it's admin and the password list I'll choose the same file deck.txt I guess now we are done so let's start the attack and see what we get uh, with now the actually our Cisco router is enabling the login attempt so we'll start let me maximize that to see the output normally now the Cisco router will block the login for a certain period which is in our case 200 seconds so as you can see there are many attempts and here we go now we get an error so the tool cannot execute or go through the whole file because it was stopped by our Cisco router so all children were disabled due to many connection errors okay so let's go to our Cisco router and see the logins so if I do show login you can see all the attempts here that has been performed and here you can see the source of the attempt it's actually our Kali Linux which is that 100.19 so let's verify that so I'll go to my terminal ifconfig and indeed it's IP address of my Kali Linux so let's go back to our router so here you can see all the attempts that have been performed and the most interesting thing here is that you can see now the Cisco router actually has applied an access list so the name of the access list is SL underscore def ACL okay which deny access from our Kali Linux to our router we can actually show this access list with the command show IP access lists and here we go so here you can see in this line the name of this access list which is an extended IP access list okay so we have here uh, 21 matches actually for this uh, access list that has been applied and which denies access to our router okay we can do another command show run to see exactly that this access list has been applied to our SSH session which is actually our VT wireline so if I do I do here show run and I filter on security and line VTY so you can see here that an access li list has been applied to the VTY lines which is actually permit access to the SSH so during this uh, quiet time we will not able to get access using SSH to our router so you have to wait till this 200 seconds has been expired so the only way now to access the router is via the console so make sure of that so as you can see now let me show you once again the command so this is the command login block for 200 seconds if there are three attempts within three seconds so of course you can change this uh, depending on your environment and on your need so that was just a brief introduction to how actually protect your Cisco devices from uh, SSH brute force attacks so actually this method can reduce actually or prevent for denial of service attack in your router as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye